I've been rough around the edges, baby, yes. I keep it happy and I do what make me happy. And nobody can deny me that I'm blessed. Self preservation, self elevation. These kind of things they deserve celebration. No hesitation, no reservation. Go for the big leagues, no relegation. Let's celebrate life, kick back and take life. And give thanks to the source that create life. To see a sunset, or see a sunrise. start a new vlog for the weekend i think this is gonna be a really eventful weekend because i do have a couple of things going on that uh tuna avocado toast you guys was so good y'all have to try that glaze from whole foods that balsamic glaze just like set it off it was a 10 out of 10 i really enjoyed that so i just got ready for the day my hair turned out super duper cute y'all in the last vlog i showed y'all my top knot bun tutorial and today we did a low bun and i love it i love it i love it i've just been trying to experiment things with my hair if you are a newer supporter a new watcher here on my channel about two years ago i shaved my head bald like bald no hair girl midlife crisis i shaved my head bald and my hair has been flourishing okay i'm very grateful and very thankful that my hair has been flourishing so this is really my first time doing a low bun like this and i'm so happy i got hair now <laughs> what is the plan for today today is friday i am hanging out with my friend jasmine i'm actually about to head out and head to her salon we're going to an event this sunday we need to find an outfit i will brief y'all a little bit more on this event and what it's about i'm getting my hair done tomorrow thankfully so that's taken care of but we need to find an outfit that's what we'll be doing today I'm stopping by her suite to help her move her mirror from her old suite to her new one. And then we're gonna have our girls day. We need to go shopping for this outfit. We are going to probably go grab a bite to eat and catch up. I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> and see where the rest of the day goes. So that's the plan for today. I need to get going because she's about done with her client right now. So I'm about to go ahead and grab my bag and shoes for the day and I'll show y'all a quick outfit of the day. People can be so sweet. 
You ever had somebody hold the door open for you and you're nowhere near the door? Like you still, you know what I'm saying? Like they see you walking from down the hall. Yeah, that was so sweet. And I started running towards the door like, thank you, thank you. Like you really didn't have to, but it feels so good to be kind. Like me personally, when I do any act of kindness towards people, whether that is opening up the door, helping somebody out with something, like any type of acts of kindness, personally makes me feel good. Like I feel good about it, you know? We're gonna try to move her mirror from her suite to another spot. And she needs somebody with a truck. She needs somebody with a big car, you know. So I had to come. So I had to come through. I have the Hobbit mirror too, and it's a pretty big boy. So I think it's gonna work in this car. I'm just gonna have to put those seats down back there. I hope it's gonna work. Otherwise, mm. oh my God. I need to get my windows tinted because. This dude, I swear he was just all up in my car. Like, sir, you got me over here blushing. Like, why is you staring like that? He was just like, he was not cute. He was, he was not cute. But. This is about the best we can do with this mirror, y'all. So it won't close all the way because there's still the end of this mirror up here. So the plan with Jasmine is she's gonna ride in the back seat and secure the mirror while we drive. Hmm. Huh. This is about how much. But, hold on. Cause I can hold this down. Plan. That's what we got going on. Huh? No, you're good girl, you are good. I love your hair. Thank you. Yes. Put y'all right here. Jesus Christ. I'm throwing that table away. You throwing it away? Yeah, cause that's ugly. Yeah. What color was it? It yeah. was black. Mm-hmm. Wait, where are you going? I'm about to just throw away. <laughs> this girl got a chair. She got a couch. Anybody need a couch? She trying to throw the couch away. What's that? <laughs> Dude, that scared me. As long as you don't fall out the trunk, I think no, that's what's most important. No, fuck me, this mirror. <laughs> or the mirror, yeah. But I think the mirror is good because it's all the way out here. It would take so much. We're at North Italia, y'all. This is my first time eating here. Thank you. Every other Italian was different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Packets with me everywhere. <laughs> we got the calamari and we also got this is what their truffle bread white nice truffle, truffle bread, yeah. garlic bread everybody that comes here says this is a must have so I'm about, it smells amazing oh my god you like it mm. is this like a cream cheese that's the truffle butter Oh my god, y'all. This is so good. Wow. For starters? Yes. We got our non alcoholic mojito. Mocktail right here. Thank you. Blueberry lemon chocolate. Right here. That's pretty. That's so pretty, Jess. Okay. Cheers, ladies. Thank you. It is? Yeah. I guess we'll put in our order. Um, how is the short rib, the braised short rib? It's kind of entree. It's it. a pasta short rib, right? You can do the pasta or you can do the entree, which comes with um, asparagus. Oh, um, okay. I think I'll do the pasta stuff okay. on the short rib. Yeah, that's all for me for now. You guys, why did I just break my camera, baby? Well, the lens. Literally dropped it and broke right here at the um, Zara store. Yay me, Jazz. I just gotta replace the lens. I don't gotta worry about having to replace the whole camera. Hopefully, the camera still works because it did turn on, but. What's up, y'all? I am back home. And I don't know if y'all can tell, I am in the old lens. <laughs> 
by old lens i mean my sony zv1 basically while i was at the mall just carrying a hundred different things i have i had my bag in one hand i had this dress from zara i'm picking up this bag trying to look at this and that i dropped my camera and the lens broke in a hundred pieces okay <sighs> not the first time it happened the last time that i feel like that just happened to me it happened like two months ago so amazon it is prime membership and i should be getting my new lens sunday i'm just grateful that my actual camera is fine because it took a big fall y'all when i tell y'all in pieces i gotta figure it out i i really need to get it together but we are on the backup camera for now the show must go on i just got home had a really fun eventful day but um glad i'm back home you child i'm tired so i'm glad i got a dress from zara today i haven't tried it on yet but i don't know if this is gonna work out for sunday there she is i'm gonna try this on for you guys okay it is a strapless mid dress it's really cute and it's dressy i like it um i just don't know if this will be the vibe for sunday and then I got this bag from Zara. I needed a silver bag. That's just something I was missing in my closet, in my collection. So I got this silver bag from Zara. This reminds me of the diesel bags. It's like a diesel bag dupe in my opinion. It's so cute and it just really elevates any outfit in my opinion. Like this is too cute. Imagine some glasses to go with it and some silver shoes. Ooh, girl. Okay, y'all, I managed to throw this dress on and I'm having a hard time zipping the back fully up. I love this dress. I really like this dress. I feel like it hugs the body right. It's very dressy. It's cute. It even looks good with my hair like this. So this is not option A for me, but if I can't find anything better tomorrow, I'm definitely going with this dress, okay? Like, I don't hate it at all. I'm trying to show y'all this is the full length of the dress i'm trying to show it to you guys in this full body mirror if i had heels it would look like this oh this is cute okay zara you did not disappoint okay guys i'm finally in the bed anybody that sleeps on the bed that's a half maid so I gotta be up early tomorrow. My hair appointment's at 8 a.m., okay? So let me actually set my alarm because lately I've been waking up at like 8.45, almost nine o'clock. I will see y'all tomorrow vlog, okay? We're gonna get a good night's rest because we have to be up at seven o'clock. So I love y'all and see y'all in the morning. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning. Me and this natural puff girl, I tell you, I look like I'm about 15 years old. I'm about to be looking 21 real soon. Ooh. <laughs> the destination is on your right, Duncan. So we are in Duncan Donuts, as you could see. Or I texted my stylist to see if she wanted anything from here while I am here. But she has not responded yet. I'm gonna ease it up on the coffee. It's just been having me really jittery. So let's do a matcha today. Hi, good morning. Can I have a small iced matcha with oat milk, please? Oat milk, yes. Can I also have one breakfast taco? Just egg and cheese? Thank you. Oh, my hand is itching. You know, growing up in Haiti, they used to say when your hand is itching, that means you're gonna get some money. <laughs> that means you're gonna get some money, like somebody's gonna bless you with some money. You're gonna receive some moolala. So, hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Now my car done got booted up in here. So we gotta act right, but there's literally no parking spots right now. They don't play. They're gonna boot your car out here. Like literally. 
But this may or may not be true, but I heard that there's a law that's coming out that's going to um, where they can't boot cars anymore in Atlanta. Like, they could probably still tow cars, but they're not allowed to boot car anymore. I saw it somewhere on Instagram. That would be nice, because we're tired of it. I'm tired, Grandpa! Guess who got a boot on their car? I paid for parking. Now you may be asking, Taja, how did we get here again? Did you not pay for parking? Don't you know better by now? Why is this still an issue for you? Y'all, hear me out. I paid for parking. I paid for two hours. But I'm thinking, okay, even if I'm a little bit over two hours, y'all can tell that I paid so y'all wouldn't check for my car again. Ugh, that is the life for you in Atlanta. When I first moved to Atlanta from North Carolina and I used to hear the term boot or get your car booted or boot, boot, I used to be like, what is, what does that mean? What is, how do you get your car booted? Because somebody explained that this was all new to me. But you learn really quick living in the city. I don't have my car booted twice now. This is the last time. <laughs> this is the last time. On a much better note, I love, 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 love my hair. She always, she always does an amazing job. Sydney be laying my wigs down. Whether I do baby hairs or not, she still gives it such a flawless, clean look. I absolutely love it. I asked her for some Hollywood curls and she delivered just that. I guess while we have no other choice but to wait here, I'll tell you guys about the event that we have going on tomorrow night. I will be attending um, Moon X Cosmetics Atlanta relaunch event. Really excited and grateful that I've been invited. So let me give y'all some deets. Um, the email says, we cordially invite you to our second relaunch event being held at the bank in Atlanta. And then it also says that the CEO and founder will be in attendance. So you'll have an opportunity to hear from her about the changes made to improve and elevate Moon X Cosmetics. There will be a red carpet um, from 7 to 8. And then the rest of the event is from 8 to 12. For me as a business owner, I'm very excited about this event because I have like an insight um, in a perspective from other business owners, you know. So I did ask if there was a dress code for this event. And so they responded semi-formal slash casual. I don't know if my dress is doing too much, but I'm also tapping into this confidence and femininity of like, if I want to look good and I think I look good in what I'm wearing, then if I want to wear something, wear it. Feel good. You look good. You feel good and have that confidence, you know? So I think I'm really going for that champagne dress I showed you guys last night. All right. I will give y'all an update on my situation shortly. Hopefully. Thank God. We are out of here. We got things to do, girl. Let's go. All right, y'all, I really love this two-piece set. 
yeah one of the associates she was really nice she went to the back and found me my size in the pants so the top is an extra small slash small it does run big the pants are small and they look a little too big but this set does run big i really like it it's different one tip as well if y'all didn't know this but you can scan this code to your camera roll and see how the item looks online and that helps you know to give me like a full visual and i really like this set second item i got is this dress oh, oh. hold on now this is um a strapless dress really cute so yeah all right i think i might have to take a stop at the fitting rooms real quick okay i know it's getting hot out but i love this jacket y'all I just feel like I need this. It's so different. Cause it's gonna get cold again. I'm at the rock around the edges, baby. Yes. I keep me happy and I do what make me happy. And nobody can deny me that's a mess. Alright, y'all. I think we're gonna do this one. picking up Sherlyn today. So a little update on the girls. A few vlogs ago, I told y'all that one of my childhood best friends and my mom's niece, they moved to the States from Haiti. And so we've been helping them out, just get adjusted to the country, new language, finding jobs, getting paperwork. And Sherlyn just started a new job, which she absolutely is just excited about so she just needed some work stuff she's getting some shoes she's getting a work bag um she wants to get a couple of things so you know i always come and pick her up and we hang out we'll do lunch or we'll go around and run errands together so yeah i hit her up and i was like girl i got you i'm gonna come pick you up because she just had a list of things that she just needed to get um before her new work week starts I just want to give you guys a little update, so I'll see y'all. What y'all know about this? I am at Walmart and I'm with Sherilyn. Hey, girl. Hi. Hello, guys. We're doing some shopping for her, y'all, because she just started her new job. Girl, why did this just bring all the memories back home? My grandfather had one of these, and baby, every time we would go out on a little road trip, he had one of these with him. I just, I don't know. I just thought I would turn on the vlog and show y'all this because it brought so many memories. This girl came ready, y'all. This not so busy. <laughs> Girl, you got everything you needed up in here. Yeah. Okay, she's crossing off her list, y'all. Yeah. She she done put out her list, y'all. She started crossing off. Okay, period. Try to watch all my emotions in a few bruises in a palm tree. I be drinking in private, don't call me to party though. To put it beneath the lamp right away. I put my foot in my way.
good morning, good morning, good morning. I have decided that um, I'm not doing any makeup for church this morning. I'm gonna have to do my makeup anyways for tonight's event, which is at seven. So I'll probably start getting ready at five. And I'm going to the 11 o'clock church service right now. So I'm just going to rock the natural face. My face has just been glowing, feeling amazing, um, especially after that mask I did last night. I love this device, obviously not sponsored, but I did the H2 Overdose mask yesterday, sealed it with a moisturizer. Girl, my face is so moisturized and so fresh. Another product I've been loving, you guys, I think that's been doing my skin really, really good, I received this in PR, is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I'm going to link this down below, sis. Try this out. But I love this serum. I love, it's really moisturizing and it improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Which I feel like my dark spots are kind of clearing up or maybe that's just me. But I've been loving this. But yeah, I'm going to rock the fresh natural face today. The only thing I'm gonna do is really quickly um, do an eyebrow touch up because my brows are like out of control right now. Like, I've made it out of the house. I'm on the way to church. I wanted to take a quick minute and um, just tell y'all how much I love you guys. Ah! So last night I was on YouTube browsing at the comments from the last vlog and just responding to you guys, reading the comments, reading the love. It wouldn't feel right if I didn't take a minute in this vlog to tell y'all how much I appreciate you guys. How much I'm so thankful thankful for this platform it feels amazing to be on a platform where i feel like i can be vulnerable and i can be honest and open about things like that with y'all and to also read so many comments from people saying that they've been experiencing like that same type of spiritual welfare and they've been also experiencing that pull that i've been talking about from god was i received dms and was reading comments i even received emails from people that are basically really experiencing the same thing and going through the same journey and one thing i'm gonna do is go wherever i feel that tug and that pull from god like i'm going to follow it i'm going to embrace that journey and i have this platform and i'll be sharing it with you guys like it just feels amazing it just feels amazing so thank y'all so much i absolutely appreciate it um i talked about needing a break as well and i think for me my break will stem from just not putting so much pressure on myself. If I can post a vlog this week, I can't post a vlog this week. I'm going to do what I need to do for my mental peace and to try to balance things out and prioritize what I need to prioritize. My goal is I don't want to miss my purpose in life and I don't want to miss what God has planned for me. So thank y'all for the love, like so, so, so much. I think one of the greatest things that I hope you guys walk away with is that there is such freedom in Christ. Yeah. And we can be completely free from any sexual sin we may have committed, but also from any shame we've been holding on to. And from, from things that maybe other people have done to us or just regrets we have, hangups we have, insecurities. And, and God wants us to embrace that freedom. But first we've got to go to the source. We've got to go back to the Bible. And what does it say about sex? Well, it actually has a lot to say. Here's some in Matthew 5, 27 through 30. It says this. You have heard the commandment that says you must not commit adultery. But I say anyone who even looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. And God has a beautiful plan. But it's also important to know that, that the enemy has a plan for your sex life too. Yes. And the enemy's plan for your sex life is it's kind of multi-pronged. One aspect of it is he doesn't want you to see other people as souls to be cherished priceless souls created in the image of God. He wants you to see other people as bodies to be used, objects to be used. So I just left church, another amazing service. They never miss. But today's service was with two guest pastors. And I believe they have a podcast um, about marriage life. The sermon is called Love Over Lust, and it is covering those conversations that need to be addressed in church sometimes like those taboo topics like i told you guys in the last vlog so i recorded a little bit of the service so y'all might have heard a little sneak peek of what was being talked about and um the overall message of it was so important it was so good 
it was well received. I also like, I really liked how the message from today was not only for married couples, but also it addressed singleness. The season of singleness right now can be very lonely. It is very lonely. I'm praying for a godly man. Like, I am building my list. I'm telling God exactly what I want from a man. Yeah, singleness is hard. Celibacy is hard. There are so many temptations in the world. But that's why you gotta stay prayed up. It's not easy by all means. I'm just saying. That's why you gotta stay prayed up. I feel like I'm in the season where, when it comes to dating right now, I'm in the season where if God didn't send it, I don't want it. If it's not what God has intended for me, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to go through any unnecessary trauma, unnecessary situationships. I'm not. <laughs> unnecessary, like, just confusion. It's just building trauma. So that's just where I'm at in this journey of singleness. Um, that's that. It, that's that's that on that. If you ever wonder, if Taja got a boot thing? If Taja, if Taja, is you in a relationship, girl? Taja is a very much single, single, and I'm not mingling. <laughs> How do y'all deal with that? How do you stay focused on your purpose and stay optimistic? You know. But I'm learning to be patient as well, and learning to just let God. Because anytime I try to figure it out, it never worked out. Anytime I try to do my own concoction, it never worked out. I gotta let God handle this one. Y'all, these are so good. 10 out of 10. Really good. Chicken soup dumplings, steamed. And I'll show you guys how I eat it, what I add to it. But I think I'm gonna get three. <laughs> They're seriously so good. Our vegetable fried rice is pretty good. I'm gonna get just one of these for a lazy day. Shower time! Um. I've been thinking about these dumplings the whole way here. I'm ready to eat. They are in a microwave right now. So I tried these last week. I tried them because I've seen them on TikTok before. I was like, hmm, let me give this a try. I only got one. Girl, I was thinking about it the whole night. <laughs> the tic What TikTok said was, the TikTok way to eat it is with the crunchy chili onion. This crunchy chili onion. I didn't have that. So what I did, and some people put a little bit of soy sauce in there. What I did, I put a little bit of soy and then I had some chili flakes that I had on top for a little kick. Chef's kiss. Let me see if they had enough. Yeah, they had enough. And this is what it looks like, y'all. Mm. This smells so good. So I made sure to get the crunchy chili onion at Trigger Jewels today, but I haven't tried it with this yet. Yeah, there we go. Still get a little bit of oil, but it's like not too much, you know? This is what we working with. Don't that look good? I like to keep it in this little container because it has a little broth underneath already. So it adds so much flavor to it. But this is the box. Chicken, steamed chicken soup dumplings. It's hot y'all, but it's so good. Just like I remember it, even better. I think I want more crunchy chili onion. The chili onion is cool. It's not as spicy though. I like my food spicy. 
I don't know if the crunchy onion is necessary, but anyways, the soy is gonna set I up. I crack the cold, y'all. Eat it with a spoon instead, because that's really where you get the broth and all the flavors is in the sauce. So I just ate one with a spoon and I was like, hold on now, hold on. I'm getting flavors, I didn't know what was there. I need a nap. I'm gonna put my PJs on, put my hair back in the bonnet and go sleep. It is 2.45. If I go to sleep by three o'clock, then get up by five o'clock, 5.30, I think we'll be good. But I'm gonna need a nap for the night, crew. I'm gonna need a nap in the Celsius because. Baby, I'm telling myself that there ain't nothing that'll change that. What good would it be? Right there. I am ready to go. I just did a full get ready with me um, type of reel slash TikTok. Basically, I was filming on my phone, so. I mean, hello. Hello. This dress, this dress is everything. This dress looks great. Looks really, really good. As y'all know, dress is Zara. My cute heels are from Steve Madden. Hopefully, they don't kill my toes tonight and they don't hurt. Um, but they're cute, such a, such a statement piece, really cute. I love the butterflies. So I will have the name of the boutique where my bag is from. Absolutely love this gold bag. It's such a statement piece, beautiful, beautiful. And I have her Instagram right here on the screen for y'all, like right here. Oh. 
back to me. Bass make a trip, make a... What's up, what's up? I can't say good morning now because it is about 2.30. Last night we went to Moon X relaunch party. Whoever decorated the spot, they truly did that. I really, really loved like the um, huge bottles, the big size bottles, the bar, even the drink menu being her product names and um, the photo booth red carpet it was so fun i really enjoyed myself and had a good time and i also got some products um we got a little goodie bag so we're about to get into it and see what we got absolutely love the rebrand behind moon x just really how it seems like they continue to like try to improve their products improve their quality and come back 10 times better like definitely props to them for that so we got the radiance oil cleanser now i think i had this product before i really really like this cleansing oil obviously the packaging is different but the old one that i had it didn't have this spray the spray top i personally really liked this cleansing oil i've used it before then we got the super cleanser hmm, i've never tried that cleanser but this is what it looks like we also got a rose galore facial oil. Now I think this was the best seller, if I'm not mistaken. This is the rose galore. <laughs> I'm very excited to try these products out. Next we have a Hydra moisturizer. I got something sticky on these boxes and I think that was maybe something I was drinking. Hydra moisturizer. So cute. I'm just showing you guys the packages right now, but I will definitely be trying these out. Last but not least, we have a toner, a glow toner. Okay. So we have a five step skincare routine products. Okay. So very excited to try these out. Shout out to Moon X. All right, y'all. Let's head to the office. Got some work to do. We can maybe do a little chatting there. When I tell y'all I am so excited for um, the concert tomorrow, it is tomorrow night! <laughs> if I didn't mention it this vlog, then I definitely did the last vlog because I remember that. I'm going to Tasha Cobb's concert tomorrow. It's gonna be her, it's gonna be Naomi, forgot her last name, and then a few other well-known gospel singers. I feel horrible for not remember them remembering their names but um i will definitely put up like the flyer on the screen but tasha cobbs is my girl i know 99 percent of her songs and i'm just ready to be in that room and experience that glory and feel the praise the gospel and experience it in person you get what i'm saying and i'm very i'm really really happy that i'm taking my mom to that and we got good seats we're gonna be like in the front let me go i'll pick i will pick y'all up when i am heading out um we're going to the post office and then i want to stop by smoothie king and try their new acai bowls smoothie king got acai bowls now girl and i haven't seen them all over tiktok my friend michaela said she was gonna get one and try one today let me text her because she ain't told me nothing no feedback yet i'm gonna say how was the bowl oh they look good oh for the summer Ooh. So delicious and only eleven ninety nine. Oh, period. Go to your near. I'm gonna get the PB Swizzle. This is what they look like, like from the menu. I'm gonna get the PB Swizzle, and I'm, I think I'm gonna add the coconut straws to it, shredded coconut to it. So yeah, it got granola, sliced banana, diced strawberries, whole blueberries, and peanut butter drizzle. Mm. Say no more. So we're finally here. I've been thinking about this bowl all day. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> all right, now we order here. Okay, y'all. Good, how are you? Good. <gasps> no. Girl, that is why I drove here. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, that was the first thing she told me. Just to let you know, we're out of the smoothie bowls. All right, man. My, uh, my freaking tuna. Oh. I all of my cans of tuna from um, Aldi. Like yeah. Little packets, so. Y'all ain't got no more smoothie bowls. See, that's the thing. Like, how y'all fucking run it? Probably because of everybody knowing about it from TikTok. Well, he said he don't, he said they don't make smoothie bowls here. They just make smoothie. Wow. <laughs> so. uh, girl, it was so good. You really made me one? 
That was sweet. Thank you. What's your name? Beyonce. What's your name? Taja. Taja. Beyonce. Thank you. you. I'm Haiti, originally born and raised. So Haiti. No, I've been here for like two years. How about you? I've been here uh -huh. for a while. How long? Shit, since like 2012 type shit. Really? Yeah, I've been here for a while. Wow. Not me. I'm flirting with the smoothie guy. What you say, Michaela? <laughs> No, he just custom made me one, girl. He, um, what did he add to this? He said he put strawberries, he put banana, he put a little bit of chocolate. He said, you like chocolate? He said he looked young. Like, would you date like a 25-year-old? No, ma'am. I feel like he will have to be, I feel like he gotta be very mature. Like, very mature. Which one did you get? PB Swizzle. PB Swizzle, and then I added um, coconut straws to it. Coconut. Which one? Which one did you have? The go go. You had the go 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 G. Yep. We're finally about to try this. I definitely didn't want to be drinking no smoothie today, but um, I pulled up. At this point, I went to three smoothie kings. The first one I went to, as y'all saw, they were out of the bowls. I went to a second one, which was. Somewhere in Midtown, but it is a drive through only Smoothie King. And when I pulled up, the guy working there told me that they don't make the bowls. They only make smoothies at that location. I was telling him. And so I told him, I was like, I only came here for the bowl. I was like, but if you want to give me a smoothie, I'll take a smoothie. And he made your girl a smoothie. Okay. He was cute. He was sweet. And then I went to a third one that finally had it. I was like... How many Smoothie Kings does it take to get a smoothie bowl? Mmm, she looks really good. So in here, there's the acai blend. It has granola. Oh, there's a lot of granola. I don't want this to fall. Blueberries, strawberries, banana, um, peanut butter drizzle, and I added coconut flakes. You can add honey if you want more sweetness. This is really good. Mm. Wow, you guys, this is great. It was so worth the drive. Mm -hmm. And I think this was really on brand for Smoothie King to finally have acai bowls because it's Smoothie King. It's only right for y'all to have a smoothie bowl, you know? I'll never be more than I have right. grabbing dinner tonight first before the concert my mom and I were gonna go get some dinner I think after that I was telling my mom I think it's best that we uber to the concert so after that I think I'm gonna come here and leave my car here and then we'll just uber there so yes y'all I'm really excited I figured out my outfit for tonight I'm gonna do the um, skirt and I'm going to do 
a really like simple top with it. So yeah, I'm really excited. I just wanted to update y'all on what we got going on. And I will talk to y'all once I'm done with my makeup. I'm gonna keep my makeup so simple and light tonight. All right, y'all, this is my full outfit of the night. Absolutely love. I'm about to go up to the Sky Lounge and take some pictures of this look. Absolutely love this look. This skirt is such a statement. And I paired it with these Zara heels that match my bag. <laughs> I am bringing my flats and I'm gonna change in the car after I take some pictures because I just wanna be comfortable for this concert tonight. And these heels hurt. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys the full look. I kept my makeup light for the night. I'm just ready. I'm excited. I'm ready. Let's get the night started. So I will see you guys on the way. Pink on pink on pink on pink. Yeah, you know, I don't really like pink like that. <laughs> hello there. Hello, my people. How y'all doing today? <gasps> ah, finally made it here, y'all. BRB, y'all. We trying to figure something out. through all these sacrifices and rigmarole. And the Bible says that He doesn't change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So something has had to change so we don't have to sacrifice animals anymore. And do you know who that was? Jesus became the one-time perfect sacrifice. Yes. So that when our Holy Heavenly Father looks at us, do you know what He sees? The blood of His Son, Jesus, that has washed us clean tonight. And His body that was broken for our healing tonight. Why? 
why do we worry about this other trivial stuff from day to day? Mm, amen. Oh, y'all didn't want to clap, but that's all right. Oh. I know I'm preaching good. Okay. Yes. Why do we worry? The issues are real, but if we reign with Jesus, there's also a suffering that comes with him as well. And I'm prepared to suffer because I know that the victory has already been won. father was called to lead pastor a church and um, we were a part of an organization at the time and they gifted my father this building right and I am from a small town called Jessup Georgia yes what y'all doing here <laughs> they like the same thing you do <laughs> So the church was in Scriven, Georgia, which is about 10 minutes away. Oh, okay. so we got in the car and we decided, hey, we're going to drive to go look at this building, right? And when we got there, my mother, my brother, and I, we were like, oh, absolutely not. I mean, it was cobwebs and you could barely see the building. It was hidden behind trees. Well, my father, being the man of faith that he was, he looked at that building and he saw a promise. He looked at that building and he could envision and see that lives would be changed and families would be healed. And, um, the building sat about 50 people, but I experienced the power of God like never before in that room. I saw miracles, signs, and wonders in that room. I saw people who had addictions be healed and set free in that room. And I just came to prophesy that that same God, he's alive in our church today. This was the best day of my yeah, I know. whole year. <laughs> you you hear me? Mm -hmm. Um, yes. I cried too. Girl, I was up in there. I shouldn't have no makeup today because I was up in there tearing up. Mm -hmm. Hearing testimonies, feeling the grace. Like God was in that room tonight, y'all. Mm. You just had to be here. Good. Mm -hmm. That was so and good. it's my first gospel concert. Too. Me too. Like me too. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it is not my last. And it won't be my won't last. Be. This is my thing. This was so good. This was so good. This was so good. This was so good. This was what I needed. This is what I needed in this season of my life. Oh, you guys. I'm glad I could share a snippet of this with y'all. But the power, the energy in the room, the message tonight. This was like. This was. This was. My night is made, my night is made. Like I feel so whole, I feel so good. I feel like, I feel so light. I feel so much at ease right now. I feel this inner peace right now. I feel amazing, y'all. Note to self, look out for more gospel concerts. Like This was amazing, y'all. <laughs> Truly enjoy myself. I'm glad that I could bring my mom. Like we were both just really feeling the energy. We were tearing up, we were praying, we were praising, we were crying, we were jumping, we were laughing. This was just truly, truly amazing. And I just want to thank God for everything amazing that he's doing in my life and everything that he's taking me through because he makes no mistakes. 
anyone watching this, if you're in a season of your life where you are struggling with something, where you are going through uncertainty, where you are going through, where you are carrying a lot, I pray that God, I pray that you let go. I pray that you let God handle it, y'all. Let God have it. Let God handle it. He wants to take that load off you. I literally feel a load off my shoulders, okay? It just was amazing. It was a night I will never forget. I wanted to make sure I include that in this vlog and just so it was a good old time. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and I hope that you enjoyed this. I will try to get this up for y'all tomorrow. So I'll probably be spending the whole day editing tomorrow, honestly. But that's okay. I love you guys so, so much. Y'all take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. And everything gonna be all right. I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Good night.